What's going down everybody? Welcome to the first Altered Art time-lapse tutorial video. What a tongue twister. Thank you for being here. I just wanted to check in real quick and let you know that these videos are going to be a lot of how I do things and the, the paints and the brushes and everything that I use sped up into four, five, six, seven minutes, whatever it is. So they're not all going to be like this with a little intro, but I wanted to just say hi, thank you, tell you if you're interested or have questions, leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe. Today we're doing a Mirror Battle Sphere and it was sold on a Facebook auction recently. And so thank you for everybody who bids on those. Again, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy the video. If there's anything that you'd like to see me paint or anything that you think that I could be doing better, let me know. I like when people consume the content. I like talking about alters. So if you have any questions, just let me know. On to the show. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. I've got titanium white. This is going to be fast for me too. I've never done this. Burnt sienna. That's brown. I'm going to call it brown forever. We've got pyrrole red. Lots of people use cadmium red. That's fine. I start with a bottom coat around... The bottom of the text box, I go around the little hollow stamp. Some of the black paint can get into the text box, that's fine. But I, I think I did a pretty good job here, I, I don't remember. But then I switch to, this is what I call my blending brush, it's a little bit wider. And you can see that I smear the paint out on a piece of, this is just computer paper that I'm painting on. And it absorbs the paint a little bit faster than a card actually does. So I mix the paint on there. I do a little bit of tapping with my finger to blend it a little bit and then I kind of just do little circles with with the brush until I think that it looks sufficiently blended and smooth. I switch to the other side. I usually start with the top of the card because that's typically the farthest away when you're viewing whatever the image is. It's usually the sky or mountains in the background or something that's farther away. It's typically a little bit of a lighter color which I like to start with. Here's some teal because there is a little bit of a the, the light behind the actual sphere at the top. And you can see I'm blending into the original art. That's a mistake that a lot of newer altruists don't do. They don't, they don't blend into the art. That's okay. You can cover up art. You can clean up anything that you've painted detail out of later. Or you can just leave it not detailed. Or you can paint the detail back in. There's lots of different options. And we're going to see all of those in these tutorial videos. So just doing browns. Typically darker colors are a little bit easier to, to blend. It's a little bit more forgiving on the eye. You can't really see the difference in dark color as, as much as you can light color. So light colors do take more time. I'm always amazed when I was editing this for the first time. I thought, oh man, that actually looks cool when I, when I do that with the paint. I never have seen it from this angle. The way that the light hits it is a little bit different than what I see when I'm actually doing it. So all of this was with the same brush. But now I've switched brushes to sort of just a um, just a medium length so I can do that fade at the bottom and now even a smaller brush. But I switch back here right away because I, I found that I'm doing something a little bit out of out of order. And you'll see I just cleaned my brush and I went back to do a little bit of toothpick cleanup work to scrape off some of the paint I blended in so we can get some of those mirror flying mirrors in the background. We can get some of that detail built back into the art. Of course, I clean up the the name line. That's what this portion of the card is called for anybody who's new. There is um, a name line, a type line, a text box, power and toughness box. You do have to clean all of those up and that does really make your altars have that professional look is when you can get those very clean. And a lot of the times that's what takes so much time is, is getting the the name line clean that's kind of the first thing that people look at when they look at alters is sure it's it's easy to tell when the blending is a little bit off or the color doesn't match but after that a nice sharp clean line at the top of the name line or at the the corners of the name line like i'm doing now very important to give your alters a very professional look and feel about them and again this is this can be the most time consuming part of the whole process and of course I spin the card all different ways to give myself kind of the best angle of attack. And this is the part that I tell people that makes them super nervous. This is a knife. I'm not cutting the card. I'm just making a score mark in the actual paint. When I, when I speed it up like that, it does look like I'm actually just crushing into the card. But I'm just scoring the paint and that lets me put a straight edge there and leverage a toothpick against the edge of the straight edge. 
as a means to make that top line very straight. And believe it or not, I find the thicker the paint, the easier it is to get a very straight edge. I leave the straight edge on there, I touch up some paint, I go back while the paint is still a little bit damp, it's a little bit easier to scrape off. When I'm happy, uh, it's, it's good. Some final cleanups here, and then I believe now I switch back to the red. And I remember this part actually, I remember doing this and being frustrated because I actually screwed up the fade to black right here. And I had to redo a whole bunch and switch brushes. And it's humorous now, but at the time I was losing my mind because I, I kind of made a mistake. And uh, some some artists say that they're, they don't make mistakes and everything is intentional. But I definitely make mistakes all the time. And a lot of being a good altruist is just being able to recover from a mistake as to not make a piece of the card look like it's been overworked or have extra thick paint or texture to the paint keeping it smooth is what's important so take your time if you make a mistake to avoid all of those things I just mentioned and you can see that the cleanup on top of the the actual painting has taken more time now than the actual paint itself and again that is going to just make your altars pop so much if you're new spend time on cleaning and develop sort of a routine or some stuff that works experiment with different types or sharpnesses of toothpicks work on using a straight edge where you can and then work on doing little touch up and detail pieces with your small brush after you've blended everything else behind the detail work lots of times you got to paint in layers and when you watch any kind of painting happening other tutorial content or or instructional video or when you're learning to paint it's all about layering luckily everything I do is in acrylic so it dries fast and you can do a lot of wet on dry and dry on dry type paint other painters are gonna know what I mean when I say that but it is all about layers so I know I thanked everybody in the the intro to the video there's not always gonna be an intro but I do thank everybody who's taking a look at these and watching and hopping over to Twitter or Facebook or Patreon and supporting me through any of those avenues. I do very much appreciate all that because this is what I do. This is my actual job. Everything else is kind of just supplementary. And there it is. There it is. That's the finished product. I actually did a couple more little specs and details above the name line just to make it look like there's some stuff flying way back in the background. But that's it. I hope everybody likes it. I actually like doing this piece. It's a commander staple, so it's always well received. And I hope everybody's back later this week or next week because I've got another staple that I'm going to do. Again, huge thank you for everybody who stuck around this long. Big thank you to the patrons. Big thank you to all the new subscribers, all the Twitter followers. Couldn't make it happen without any of you guys. So I do appreciate it very much. And I will see everybody next video.